Hi guys, welcome to homestudiosound.com. We're going to see how we can add loops during the process of music creation in Propeller Heads Reason 4. Looping according to me is uh, one of the best feature and a key feature in music production softwares. I love Reason's looping feature as it lets us achieve the results easily and quickly. With so many track options available in all the major DAW sequencers these days, Looping actually helps us utilize and create that many tracks to make a particular session sound full and rich. Once you know your tempo of the song and arrange your looping to follow the tempo, the rest of the arrangement becomes so easy so we can add music in a well controlled manner. Now let's try a sample looping session in this video. I'm actually going to take the example of Billie Jean from Michael Jackson's Thriller album and just play the uh, starting portion uh, in uh, the beginning of the song so you can understand how easy it is to loop in Reason 4. So as you can see from the screen now there are two sections when you load up Reason 4. The top being the rack section and the bottom, bottom being the uh, sequencer section. So it's always advisable that you have your sequencer loaded up separately uh, when compared to the uh, tra uh, to the racks in Reason. So this particular icon lets you do that. Once you click that, it's going to pop up and come with a full screen of your sequencer and your racks and devices screen are still going to remain as it is, which is a good thing. You have control of both the devices and the sequencer in separate windows. And uh, for the song, I've already uh, preloaded with a couple of, t couple of devices uh, to to get to the song, and as you can, as you can see, this, these are two and NXTs, uh, one read drum, and a couple of reverbs to help you uh, help a uh, particular drum track sound better. And read drum uh, is, a, is a great uh, device. I love it, and uh, it allows you to create all kinds of drum tracks and your rhythm tracks. And it's so easy that you can program these um, buttons. And help, which helps you to kind of get to a particular rhythm. And I already uh, programmed it uh, or placed the uh, right portion, you know, uh, areas in the drum track uh, for the song. So let's let's click to hear it. And before you click Run to hear it, this Enable Pattern section has to be uh, you know clicked, which which enables uh, from from your orange button. And once you click Run, it's going to show you. So yeah, and that's how uh, users create a rhythm track, and uh, you can always copy the pattern once you feel comfortable uh, onto your particular rhythm track here. So to do that, you can right click and say copy pattern to track, and it's seamlessly copied, and you can simply copy Control C and Control V it to your rest of the four bar section in the uh, particular track, which is a great feature. And to loop it, uh, so I'm just going to loop uh, to the beginning of the song. You know, once the beat track is uh, started, you can you can uh, you know start the tune uh, with the with the guitar section. And to loop it, uh, there are two things uh, that's very important. One is the pre-roll that you, you can see here. Another one is a loop on/off feature. So what it does is a uh, pre-roll is just a um, which allows you to you know take time before you record the song uh, and gives a four click and the uh, it's like a, you can see a four four uh, it's like a time signature where it allows you to you know um, be ready to record the song and loop on off is, is basically the portion or the section of of the bars where you wanted to loop it and and LR if you see the slider here the L is at the beginning of the song, and R is the exact uh, ending of the uh, four-bar section. So when you record it, uh, all it's going to do is keep looping this particular first four-bar section, and you can always record for the first four-bar, and once you feel comfortable, you can copy it over to the rest of the four-bar section in the song. So to do that, let's uh, start with it. I'm going to click Record now. So 
so I played only once and you can see um, the first bo four bars get uh, get looped and it's going back and forth uh, within the four bar section and you can stop it now and uh, take out the loop and the pre-roll buttons uh, you know click and and what and since it's already uh, looping in a correct fashion so all you can do is copy and paste it across and I'm going to delete the first one you know so you can see how this tongue song starts with the looping part and yeah so it's pretty easy uh, with reason uh, all you got to utilize is uh, set your LNR uh, sliders uh, to a particular bar section. So you can either record a first four bar section or an eight bar section, and click uh, pre pre row, so that uh, you can you know have time to record your portions, and then start recording it. And once you find a good take, uh, you know uh, for the particular looping section. You can simply copy it in, into the total uh, song wherever you want it to, to be placed, and keep uh, you know adding and deleting the, the the areas that you like or not like. So it's, it's that simple. And uh, to make it uh, you know as a as a song, I'm just going to show you that it 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 synced correctly, and I'm going to sing a few lines from from the song. I don't want to sing exactly like a, a MJ or something, but uh, the problem, the reason is. Uh, it's going to be dry when I sing it now because you can't add it uh, in a sequencer uh, like like a microphone sound cannot be added in reason or external guitar cannot be added into reason so you can have a separate uh, DAW software like Pro Tools or Cubase or Ableton Live or something like that and have reason uh, rewired into your uh, you know another DAW sequencers and and sing or uh, record guitar which will be a uh, in a complete song that you can create out of reason and reason is a tremendous software which is already rocking in the market now so let me sing a few portion from the song She was more like a beauty queen from a movie scene I said don't mind but what do you mean I am the one who will dance on the floor in the round She said I am the one who will dance on the floor in the round I hope you like the uh, video, thank you